Hi, welcome to my channel. First of all, I see the iPad is shaking, but I'm going to let it stabilize itself and just get started right away. This video is to show how I make my inserts for my traveler's notebook. Now, I have a lot of tools. First of all, I have the tape, a hardcover paper, the uh, paper, oh, brown paper, got from Amazon, can't tell you what it's called. Got the ruler. That's some line paper that I use. I have the cutting board, uh, bone tool, folding tool, the knife, and the long arm stapler, and the cutting mat. And that's basically all I use. I also always have one of these out so that I have a template, so to speak. There you go. So for starters, I'm going to move the uh, cutting board out of, I mean the uh, paper cutter out of the way and what I do is I cut, excuse me, I fold a couple of sheets at a time and I could, I've seen some that fold the entire uh, stack that they want to use at one time but I don't do it that way because I find that when you fold multiple sheets of paper, it does slightly adjust the folds when you come to a hole, when it comes to a hole. I am aware that I'm pulling out a screenshot a couple of times and I grossly apologize for that. Another thing that I do is I'm going to cut at least the bottom part of this down in a moment and that's another reason that I'm only cutting folding a couple of sheets at once so that when I put it into my paper cutter it's easy to cut now there's another way that I could have could have done this and feel free to comment in the uh, comment area if you see something that I could have done a little bit better because another way that I've done it is before I even fold I'll take my paper cutter and I'll put it back on the desk and I will cut it down to where this green line is before I do the folds. But as I mentioned, I didn't do the folding very thickly so I can still cut several sheets at one time. With paper cutters, unfortunately, the blade can get dull, which is what happened here. And when you have a lot of paper, it can be difficult to cut through several sheets. And I, I am probably going to off the iPad from time to time, so I apologize if I make you dizzy. So I'll just do this last couple of sheets and put it back on the line. I'm not worried about exactness because that's why I have the knife and the ruler. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is simply just put the pages together. Desperately try to remain on screen and make sure that I have the margins correct which I didn't and there we go so this part of it is done put that to the side simply fold the cover and again I will uh, make it sharp with the bone cutter I should have I'm on a rolling chair. I should have kept this over here so I can quickly cut this down. That's done. I believe I tapped it. I think the video cut off, but I can probably edit it together. The next thing I do is I take the pages and I put them inside of the cover. And then I take a couple of paper binder clips. I'm just reaching for them. secure the paper. I forgot to get the binder clips out ahead of time, but everything's on my rolling cart. 
And can you see here how some pages are hanging out? But that's very, very, very easy to adjust. So that's no worries about that. So I take the binder clips and I secure the papers together like this. And then I take my long arm ruler. I know I'm making a huge mess that I'm not cleaning up as I go along because it would be too much time of yours that you would be giving me, so I don't want to do that. So I will take my stapler and hope that I land on the fold. And generally I do. Once in a while I haven't landed on the fold. Okay, and I pretty much did. Here I did great, here I didn't do so great. But I'm not, that's not a huge concern because it's going to be inside of a band. And being inside of a band will allow it to be secure. Okay, I paused the video to grab my scrapbook paper before I do the next step. I'm gonna put this to this, I'm gonna put this to the side for a moment show you my scrapbook pads I only have two I have this one here with these sheets and I have this one here with these sheets and so I just pick something that I want to be a cover and I'm gonna see if I can find one that I haven't used yet I've made so many that I've used a lot but I haven't used many in this book I like the stripes so I'll take this page out I can see that somebody apparently has borrowed both pairs of my scissors. So I will have to get creative in cutting this down. Um, and the reason that I, I have to do this at this time is because this is 12 by 12. So it's the same size as my cutting board. So I can't cut it down in my cutting board. So I usually take my scissors and cut it. And I have a very, very organized manner, and I have two pairs of scissors, and people in the household borrow them, and they're not where I thought they would be. So let me go off screen to cut this down. So I cut, cut it down so that I can put it inside of the... paper cutter otherwise it's not going to fit so I'm going to over cut this just to bring it close to the size that I need and I'm not choosing to be exact right now and as you can see it's going to fit okay but um, and it's the stripes of the way that I want them and I am going to show you what I do from here. Um, let's see, I need one other thing that I don't have out, but I should have in my, my two-sided tape. I'm going to part the tape again, just put, splice everything together. Okay, I just grabbed the two-sided tape. But before I'm ready to put the scrapbook paper on here, I'm going to just check my measurements against an existing traveler's notebook. And I see I just grab a mechanical pencil. And this is where a template can come in handy for some. But it serves me well to just draw a line just like that, what I just did with my mechanical pencil. And then I take the metal ruler. Now as every household has rulers, I didn't need to, I didn't need to buy a ruler except for this uh, particular purpose and uh, this particular reason. When you use a sharp, sharp blade, it can damage a ruler, and whether it's a wooden ruler or a plastic ruler. With a metal ruler, you can't damage the blade. Another thing that I had to do is right here underneath this this is a 
desk pad that serves as a mouse pad and a knife would go through it so I bought a cutting mat so that the knife can't go through it so I will place the ruler on the pencil line and all I'm going to do is use this and go back and forth across it and it only takes a few seconds and voila it's cut down to size just seconds the next thing I'm going to do is say see whether or not it matches the existing traveler's notebook and it, and it does with the exception of these sheets hanging over another easy fix you simply take the ruler and get on on in screen and do the same thing it's cut off the excess let me do it a little straighter get rid of any anything that's already cut so that I can see how much more I have to cut A little, this part's messy because it's so skinny, but it does work. And you don't really even need a lot of patience. You just need a few seconds. And then you see if it's smooth. And it's not perfect, but I'm not, these aren't for sale. These are for my use. So despite the fact that it's not perfect, I'm going to go with it. I might just go one more. Oh, excuse me. I'm going to go one more time. And then I'm going to call it done. And I'm happy with that. I see that it could be better. But again, these aren't for sale. And make sure the knife is closed. These are just for my use. Then what I do is I take the scrapbook paper. And I realize that I could very easily uh, have stapled the scrapbook paper to the insert before I stapled it, but I prefer to tape my scrapbook paper on top of the hard cover. It just works better for me. Everybody does things different and I am a novice and inexperienced, so my method may not work. I'm just lining it up because I'm about to use my two-sided tape and tape it down and then I will cut it and it, this will only take a second so then I take this tape here there it everybody makes it Tombow I believe is the number one uh, manufacturer but because it's a name brand it's the most expensive so I bought a lesser price brand and that's what I use so I will go back and put this into the fold that I just created and simply paste it on and it's on and do the same to the back I'll get rid of this and run the tape now I'm not fast with this because it's just not this is a new hobby for me and I fold it down and then all I do is I find the edge and I just cut it with my knife I'm going to redo that because I was a little bit off of the cutting mat and it places me out of range of the camera but I want to do this right so let's let's redo that And then a couple of times when I've cut down this part here, and, and this goes to show where a template might be coming handy, I've gone a little bit off and not been exact. So a couple of times I'll take my scissors and I'll even it up, which my daughter heard me, so she, when I paused the video, she brought in the scissors. So I think for the sake of time on camera, I'm just going to use the scissors for here and then the knife to even it up. So that's it. That's it right there.
with the scissors. And if I want to do better, like I did with some of the other ones, I will take the knife and I will patiently go score it down and score it down and score it down. Um, here I see that I can cut a little bit of this excess off and I'll do that while I'm recording. Just chop that excess off. I'm just going to go over it several times so that it's completely even. And pull that off and that edge is done. This isn't one of the better ones that I've made, but I'm going to call it done and I'm going to remind you of ones that I've done a little bit better on. Um, it's kind of hit or miss. This one I use vellum paper so I can always cut vellum paper and put that around it if I choose to do that. And like this is a better one, this is a better one. But I'm not using a template, I'm not using experience, I'm just having fun. And the one that I just made is right here, and I'll show you one more time. And now what I'll do is I will um, edit all of these, I think three videos, in together into one. And hopefully you'll benefit from it. Uh, you will find much more experienced people making these inserts than I am, but I just wanted to take the time and do it. I appreciate your time. You have a great day. Bye-bye.